The Fancy Comedy Liar Liar is another one of my favorite movies from Jim Carrey. And I have to say, even more than two decades later, this one is still pretty hilarious. So the story of this one is that a lawyer named Fletcher Reed, he's built his entire career of lying to people. And he unfortunately also lies to his ex-wife and son. But on one night during his birthday party, Max wishes his father can't tell a lie for 24 hours. And from there is one of the most hysterical comedies from the 1990s. I always enjoyed this one. The acting, especially from Jim Carrey. Just seeing his mannerisms and just how over the top it is it actually makes it one of the best things about this movie, especially in this scene here. Red. Red. All right? No focus. The color of this pen is... <laughs> the color of this pen is... <laughs> The color of the pen that I hold in my hand is royal blue. Ah! One lie and I can't say it. I'll write it. <laughs> yeah, that scene is still hilarious, even all these years later. But also, that scene is interesting because no matter how hard he tries, Fletcher cannot lie, which actually gets him into a lot of trouble with his job, but it also teaches him an important lesson, to be honest with his son and always be there for him because before Max made that wish, Fletcher wasn't there sometimes because he was always at work. But with all the bad things that happens to him, he actually realizes that his son Max is the most important and actually leads him to become a better person near the end of this movie. Overall, when it comes down to it, this is certainly one of the better Jim Carrey movies out there. And even though it's not perfect, this one is very entertaining. Now, when it comes to the story, I thought it's really good. Certainly, it's hilarious like I mentioned before, but it's also heartfelt. Jim Carrey does a good job playing Fletcher, and Fletcher, he's not a bad guy. In fact, his over-the-top mannerisms makes him one of the most funniest characters I've seen in a movie throughout the years. What's interesting, though, is that Steve Martin originally was going to play this character, but I never could see that working out well because, no disrespect to Steve Martin, it's just that Jim Carrey, this is his forte. He's always been a comedic actor. And certainly while this film does have its lack of strong character development, it's a comedy, so it's all right. But when it comes to Max, it is sad seeing how he looks every time he's let down by his father. But when he makes that wish that his dad can't tell a lie for 24 hours, it actually leads to some outright funny moments. Whether it's Fletcher in the elevator with that woman where he acts, you know, out of line in that scene, or even when he's roasting all of his co-workers. Like, this movie has some good moments, comedically, and of course, when it comes to all these characters. Like, Fletcher, he's defending Samantha Cole, and, you know, he realizes at the end of the day that Max is the most important to him. Is this film perfect? Of course not. It doesn't have a long run time, which is all right. It's less than nine minutes. It's just that this film, while it still holds up all these years later, it's just a comedic movie. It's not much to the story, even though it's decent. This film has some 
Let me leave. Let's just leave it at that. It has some good moments all throughout it. And basically, that's what we want in a comedy film. I'm giving this film a 7 out of 10. Now I have to really give credit to Jim Carrey because he got so into his character he would go home with total exhaustion. Talk about dedication. I will say that a movie like this wouldn't release today because times have changed. In fact, some of the jokes in this one definitely wouldn't hold up. But honestly, that makes this film all the more a cult classic just because back then people laughed at a lot of stuff and it didn't really offend anybody because it was just a comedy film poking fun at a lot of different topics. And that is my review of Liar Liar. Okay, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this movie. Alright, this is Slim Guy 172 saying... Peace out.